Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching again. Happy Independence Day. And since this holiday was created by men with guns, I figured I'd give you a quick update on how the Nix checks soared in June of 2022, as did gun sales. Now the Nix checks uh, soared to a number that is the third highest June on record, uh, while the gun sales surged to the second highest June on record. Now this is the chart that's available uh, on the FBI Nix site. And you can see for June of this year, numbers are up in every category. Now Nix checks dropped by about 500,000 checks. And Nix checks, there's a variety of reasons people use a Nix check, whether it's a background check, but it doesn't necessarily have to be for a gun, it could be for a license to carry or a permit. Uh, but it was down about 500,000 checks, which similarly corresponded with the amount of uh, firearms owner identification cards checks and rechecks or FOID in Illinois. That system was revamped and that system was down about 400,000 checks, which kind of uh, caused the Nix checks to drop by about 500K. So it's pretty much in line with the drop of, of business uh, on the, uh, the FOID side in Illinois. Now the gun checks or the gun purchases, uh, it's a little difficult to extrapolate them, but uh, it is estimated that gun sales were up about 8% in June. And that brought that to about 1.35 million firearms sold, which is down from the record, uh, which was June of 2020, which was 2.13 million firearms sold. So all in all, it's a uh, things are trending up. A lot of those sales were in uh, knee-jerk reaction to this bipartisan gun control that the Senate rammed through. Uh, Joe Biden and his administration are, if it might be the number one gun salesman next to Obama. It looks like that. Uh, but uh, have a fantastic holiday. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun, keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Enjoy your Independence Day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.